We're going to visit the El Marachi Super Mercado today, local Mexican supermarket. And they have some interesting things here. It's the largest one in Oklahoma City. The first thing you will notice is the layout of the store is totally different from the average market. Uh, produce and things like that are right in front of the door instead of the rotisserie chickens. And as you walk along them, you will start finding different things that you've never seen before, such as this. This is... These are no palitos or no pales. That's the fonts off of cactus that the thorns have been removed. You cut these up in pieces, salt them, bring a, roll them in cornmeal, and fry them, and they, they taste like okra. Here's something else that you don't find in many supermarkets in the States is poblano peppers. They're a basic in the food preparation in Mexico. And the thing is, the prices here are probably a third of what they are at Walmart or most any other place. Here we have papaya, which is a Central and South American fruit that's very good. A lot of people like them. And while we have bananas on one end of this, we have plantains on the other. And a plantain is not a banana, even though it's shaped like it. They are usually prepared by slicing and frying, mashing and then refrying, and they're delicious little snacks. And here's tomalitos. They are not tomatoes, even though they look like an ugly tomato that's green and not ready to pick yet. Another thing is corn shucks. They're used in making tamales. These are chayotes. And calabacitas, if I can get that correct. They're both types of squash. And I like them better than I do zucchini or yellow squash. And they don't have just one kind of green beans. They have several kinds. Speaking of prices, three pounds for 99 cents for white onions, and I saw them for a dollar a pound at Walmart yesterday. More nopals. And this is the magri cactus. And palm fonts. And these ugly things up here are yucca roots. And this is one of the largest fresh seafood markets in Oklahoma City. They have everything from shrimp to various kinds of fish. As well as various Mexican cheeses. Casero Fresco is a fresh milk cheese. Uh, it's kind of like ricotta and others that are used for cooking and things of that sort. And they have cuts of meat that you never saw before. They cut meat differently for Mexican consumption than what we see in our markets. And it's usually cut a lot thinner. Down in Mexico, they don't have the big, big steaks like we do in the U.S. You'll find meats that are already marinated for you here. And the Mexican favorite is chorizo. Good morning. You doing your shopping today? Prices here are a lot better than the other places, aren't they? And vegetables are wonderful. Yeah. And something you find here that you don't in most shops are short ribs. They have both beef and pork. And then they have beef oxtail. They don't waste anything of the cow in Mexico. And this, folks, is pickled pig's ears. They don't waste anything in Mexico. And my favorite thing in a Mexican store is their panaderia, where they have all kinds of sweet rolls and it's called pan dulce. Pan dulce and they're three for $1.19, which is cheaper than you can buy donuts. 
These are the bread of Mexico, bolleos. They come out hot about five times a day, and people will be standing here to see them bring out a cart of hot ones. And the thing about this store, they bake their bolleos and other breads and sweet rolls right here on the spot. And back in the back, we have the rotisserie cooking the chicken. And here you don't find rows and rows and rows of loaves of bread. You find tortillas. They make their own right here on the spot. They have their own machines to make them. And they turn out fresh every day. They have corn tortillas on one row and flour on the other. They're used for two totally different purposes in Mexican eating. And Mexico is known for their spices, and they have a larger selection than most any place that you'll ever find. And the best part, they're all fresh. They ship in their own products from Mexico in their own trucks. You'll find some Mexican products in American stores, but here it's about 95% made in Mexico. It's the kind of food they're used to, and with a large Latino population like we have in Oklahoma City, you can expect that. How many stores have you ever seen where they have 20 different kinds of beans for sale? You're lucky to find pinto and white beans in most stores. And the checkout aisle is the same in Mexico as it is in the U.S. They use barcode readers and automatic belts. The only difference, you can pay here in either pesos or dollars, and the registers, you just punch a button and it'll tell you which.